What's up YouTube? In today's video, I wanted to talk about the best subclass to use for PvP right now during Beyond Lights. Bungie recently added three new subclasses called Stasis, and now there is a lot of subclasses in the game, so a lot of different choices that you can take. And in this video, I'm just going to help you guys decide which one is the best for you. So this is going to be my top five best subclass to use for PvP. In my opinion, it might be different for you. But let's start right away. At number five, we got Middle Tree, Night Stalker, so Spectral Blades. This subclass has been meta for almost two years basically since forsaken and it was one of the best if not the best subclass to use for a long time in pvp i was using this subclass every day it was my main and i'm actually shocked that i'm putting this subclass at number five but you're gonna see the top five so let's start by talking about the super called spectral blades this is one of the best super that you can use it is fast it's consistent like it's not whiffing and the super lasts forever so you can get multiple kills it is also easy to kill other supers with this one and your invis so people don't see you so if i was doing a top five best supers in destiny this one would probably be number one or two like i actually feel bad when i use this super in quick play like it's that good another really good thing about this subclass is that you actually have good grenades spike grenade vortex grenade void wall this one is my favorites because the synergy with the void wall grenade and the smoke grenade is awesome in my opinion. And a lot of people don't know, but you want to throw your smoke first and after you throw your grenade, so it's going to be faster. We call it the wombo combo. And like if you have those two abilities, you're basically guaranteed a free kill. Also, another perk that people forget about is Flawless Execution. I know Bungie nerfed it, but it's still a really powerful ability. Basically, if you crouch, all your precision kills are going to grant you invis and true sights. So you're going to see people through walls and it's increasing your melee range. I highly recommend using the subclass if you don't have Beyond Lights. But if you do have Beyond Lights, you can use this super in the number four spots. It is the new Stasis Warlock subclass called the Shade Binder. When Bungie released the subclass, at first I thought it was going to be broken and I thought it was going to be the best subclass to use in the game. But I'm putting it at number four now because Bungie nerfed the melee and they also nerfed the Cold Snap Grenade. So I feel like this one is, it's still incredible, but it's actually not making the top three list. What's cool about this subclass is the fact that you can put four fragments on it. And you also have two aspects on it. And the synergy between Cold Snap Grenade and the two aspects is incredible. The melee is also really strong, even though Bungie nerfed it. But in my opinion, the super is the weak point of this subclass. In a game mode like Trials or Comp, people are too fast, they run away. And the super can't really keep up. And you can also get killed really fast in your super. Like, I've killed so many Shade Binder, like, easily with my hand cannon. With this subclass, I recommend using the Cold Snap Grenade or the Dust Fill. Because the Glacier Grenade is really hard to destroy with this character. The fragments I recommend on this thing is Whispers of Eldrins, 100%. You gain bonus damage and we all know that we're stuck in a 120 meta so all those two taps are going to be really nice and after i like to put refraction shards and durance so for the number three spots we are staying on the warlock it's going to be the top tree dawn blade just before beyond light this thing was just everywhere it was the meta and i still think it's really strong in the game when bungie starts nerfing stasis a little bit i think the dawn blade is gonna go back on top so what's so special about this subclass it's the fact that you can go super fast you got an icarus dash just this one little thing here is making a subclass incredible it is probably the fastest subclass that you can use you also have a melee that tracks and that can kill across the map. So this thing is pretty nice too. And you can pair this melee with an exotic called Karmstein. So every time you get a kill with that melee, you can regen. So that is a really solid build. And that's not it. You can make plays by floating in the air by just consuming your grenades. Like you can find some crazy angles, just float in the air. And every time you get a kill in the air, you get this perk here. And it's extending the effects of heat rise. So you're going to stay in the air for a longer time. So you can stay for like 30 to 40 seconds. And of course, we got to talk about the Daybreak Super. This thing is crazy. Like, I think it's not the easiest super to use. But as soon as you master it, you go fast. It lasts forever. You can kill multiple people across the map. It's easy to bait other supers. Like, this thing is really good. And a lot of people get confused with the grenades. I recommend using the solar grenades. So if you play trials, you can block reses. And it's just overall the best grenade for this subclass. Definitely healing rift and burst glide. So this subclass is taking the number three spots. So for the second place, we got a good old Titan Behemoth Stasis subclass. 
when they released this subclass i was like eh it's not crazy but dude it is incredible like this thing is so good this subclass is definitely one of the most scary subclass to face in trials or comp and the best thing about this subclass is definitely the glacier grenade and the slide combo basically every time you throw a grenade you can just slide into it and it's gonna shatter it and you get so many kills like it's so easy and plus you can pair that with a fragment called whisper of fissures increase the damage and the size of the burst of the crystal when you destroy a crystal or defeat a frozen targets and also i like to put the shards one so every time i destroy a crystal i get a boost of grenade energy so you can keep just throwing grenades and sliding and killing people. And of course, I put the Hedron so I can get extra damage. So 100% use this grenade, Glacier Grenade. Do not use the other grenades on a Titan. And a lot of people think that the melee is really bad, but it's actually a really good melee. It's good to escape like gunfights. And you can also push people into a wall and you one-shot them. So if you're stuck in a 1v1, you just do that and you have a chance of winning the fights. You can also push people outside the map. Like it's a fun melee. And if the melee is whiffing a lot for you, what you need to do is basically hold the button. And as soon as you're close to someone, you release the button. If you click once, you're not going to go far. So make sure you hold the button. And let's talk about the super. Obviously, this super is insane. Like, it's probably the hardest super to kill. Like, the damage resistance is crazy on it. And you are also really fast. You can freeze people. You're basically going to win all your, like, 1v1 supers against, like, a Spectral or, like, a Dawn Blade or, like, any supers. You can freeze them. And I was also surprised to see that the super lasts forever. It reminds me of the OG Striker, like, back in the days. So, yeah, a Titan super taking the number two spots. And for the number one spots, you already know... It's the Hunter Stasis Revenant subclass. Ah, oh, Hunters are always the best, man. Yeah, sorry, but Hunter is definitely the best in this meta right now. When I first got this subclass, I thought it was trash. But dude, after getting some aspects and uh, learning how to play it, it is 100% the best subclass to use. Why is it the best? Just because of one combo. Jump in the air, throw a Glacier Grenade, Shatter Dive, boom you get so many kills this thing is probably gonna get nerfed like i've played trials and that's all you see just hunters jumping in the air throwing a grenade exploding the crystals they get triple kills like it's so easy to use obviously it's fun but like it's not fun to play against and the main problem on this thing is also the fact that you can put fisher fragments so you can increase the damage and the size of the crystal burst also the melee is super strong slowing enemies is just like insane you basically reduce their handling their aiming downside their accuracy like everything you can also throw the shurikens really fast so sometimes you can free someone instantly you can also get lucky and get a lucky bounce on the wall boom it's slowing down someone you push them it's so fun to use but it's also really powerful and that's not it. Slowing down enemies is your best way to win a 1v1. And boom, we got the dodging slows nearby targets stasis aspect. So overall, this subclass is pretty broken. And even though you don't have a roaming super, this shutdown super is so good. Like there's no point of using blade barrage or tether. If there's a super in front of you, you can just shut down the super easily with this thing. You can freeze two people, turn around, throw your little tornado at someone, triple down. Like it's so powerful. And after you freeze someone, you can get the bonus damage. So overall, like this subclass, like I'm a hunter main and I'm saying it's, it's so good. Bungie's probably gonna nerf it. I know some Hunter mains are gonna be sad in the comment section after this video. But this thing is just way too good. And for the exotic, you can put Stompies. War Musk is still really good. And Bacris is also good. So that's it for the top 5 best subclass in the game. You guys decide which one you want to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like. Subscribe like always. The goal is trying to get 100k on YouTube. We're gonna get it one day. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.